Welcome to the pre-workout guide. The only guide you will ever need for pre-workout. Today, I have the Red Ooze. The Red Ooze by G Fuel. I've never, actually, I think that's a lie if I say I've never had G Fuel before. I've had the like original flavors, but I've never had it with all these collabs they do. So this is for the movie Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I liked the movie and I decided to try it out. Kiridashi, Cold Steel. And I've been waiting to, you don't need a knife. I just wanna let you know, it's all perforated, but this is way more fun. And what do you have knives for if you're not gonna use them? But look, everything's perforated. Look at this. Easy to get your stim games. The only thing I don't like now, I don't have that cool Venom symbol. No good. But I've heard a lot of good things about this flavor, so I'm excited to try it. Oh, it smells really good. And of course, the classic funnel scooper. This is like one of the best things that some supplement companies do, and I think all of them should. So here's the ooze itself. Let's see the serving sizes. Wow. Tiny writing. Uh, one scoop. 40 per container. Cool. So we're going to have testing of three types. It's going to be with a fork and spun up, see if it mixes well, a shaker with water in first, and a shaker with water in second. Let's see if this opens actually. Yeah, opens up, very cool. Get a good scoop. Red ooze. It's oozing and it's red. Let's see how well it mixes. Let's see how much water is supposed to be in here. It smells really good when it's mixing water. Wow. It's got pineapple powder, pomegranate, apple. Oh man. Okay. Alright, so it actually mixed pretty well. And I think that's only half of the required or recommended amount of water, so it still mixed well for being a really concentrated dose. So let's move on to the shaker. All right, so let's pop this thing back off. Make sure we try to keep every attribute of this test the same. So one scoop. So it's about eight ounces of water that's going into each of the iterations. Okay. And it's one of these crazy shakers that has the shaker metal thing attached. Okay, let's see. So this was powder first. We'll give it a good 30 seconds. Maybe not. Might be too long. Let's see. 15 is good. Okay. Looks thick. Woo! Okay, that mixed perfectly. And that usually is the best way to mix it is... Um, no, it's not. This is actually the worst way to mix it in a shaker. And that was really good. Holy crap. Look, there's nothing at the bottom. What? All right, on to water first, which is the best way to mix it. All right, last one, water first. This is always the best way to do it. If you can, if you can think of a better way, you're probably wrong. 
This is definitely the best. Liquid in first. Look at the ooze. Oh! Oozed out the side. Look at that. All right, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. It mixes really well. That is the conclusion that we've come to. Either way, with the fork and water, which is like get an old school way. I put this in here so I can use the same shaker to keep the all the testing the same. But look at that. It still mixed perfectly. And this is where I'm gonna keep all this pre-workout so I don't go crazy and just chug and have a heart attack. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see any other pre-workout brands. I take all sorts of pre-workouts, so I will be making more videos. But this is the first time I've had Red Ooze, and I am a fan. Thanks for watching. Hope you're entertained.